Or through a substitute dominant. Either. Or. Right? So, then in this case, let's do it again. Any other variations which before Paco didn't simply not 
exist. So now, once we got this combination of chords, we have two more chords. This three, again, no, we have no, 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 we have again the flat third on first inversion, then we have, this one, what is that? Uh, is, is, it, is it this, is it this, it's, it's, uh, is it B flat seven with nine and twenty? Uh, e flat seven, no, no, that's what the book of Jan will tell you, that's why this is useless here. Because it is true that this is also in the That's right. also true. Right. But here, in this context, is not. It is what? This is when you see objects in this perspective, this perspective, this perspective, not just on one way. This is F sharp. Except sharp seven Except flat nine, nine on the first inversion yes, yes, with yes. A sharp in the base, right. this one. So it's not B flat. Uh, I'm going to E flat or D sharp uh, nine alter. It's not that. Uh, I don't treat this like a scatting chord. I'm going to start doing things like you know, play the chord. Let's see, I'm in the scale, right? I don't play this over that. They are in this context. Because here the composer is using it after the flat third. This one is his way of substituting what? This is flat third actually. But then it's doing which means what? This is being, the flat third is being used as as uh, as the five seven five nine. No, as the flat six. Oh. Yeah, right, right. The flat yeah, ah! flat third is being used because it's going into the this. flat third. As if it is fix a little flat nine. The no, flat six. No, flat six. Right. And this is going to fix a flat nine. Right. Of whom? Right. Of the minor, of B minor. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? Yeah. So then therefore, here we said that this is flat third. And this is a. A flat. This is flat third. I'm not saying it cannot be seen as other chords. I'm saying the context which matters what the back of it is of these interpretations. This is what I'm talking about. It's aesthetical concept, aesthetics. So this one, if it goes flat third, fifth of the fifth. That is the logic. Fifth of the fifth, fifth of the fifth, yes. And then, Fifteen chords has this thing. I, 
¿sí? que hoy es Plente de Andaluz en que ellas has there is an extended version of Andaluz en que ellas right. me ayudó porque descubrí ahí el, la improvisación la improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería cada músico del estilo que sea del clásico, del flamenco de cualquier otra música debería debería aprender porque en la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando de qué armonías están en cada momento ¿no? Pablo Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular por ejemplo el flamenco el flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo de Andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas elaborando esa música. 